אמרתי כבר שאם צריך נילחם בציפורניים. פריים מיניסטר בנג'מין נתניהו on Thursday said Israelis were ready to quote fight with their fingernails. It was a thinly veiled rebuff to U.S. President Joe Biden after he said he had paused a weapons shipment due to Israel's plans for a military operation in Gaza. Biden warned Israel he will not support an invasion of the city of Rafah without adequate safeguards for the civilian population, as an estimated half of Gaza's 2.3 million residents have sought shelter there. The paused shipment includes several thousand powerful aerial bombs that the White House says are not suitable for warfare in densely populated areas. It's now playing what we suspected all along. Joe Biden's de facto position is for a Hamas victory over Israel. That pause provoked fiery criticism from Republicans in Congress, who characterized the holdup of a single weapons shipment as tantamount to the betrayal of an ally. Here's Oklahoma Senator Tom Cotton. Hamas wins if it survives in Rafah. And Joe Biden has threatened to withhold weapons from Israel for fighting in Rafah. The Pentagon dismissed the criticism from Senate Republicans, listing the massive amounts of military aid that has flowed from the U.S. to Israel, including missile defense capabilities. As you know, we've provided billions of dollars in security assistance to Israel. Last month, American forces assisted in shooting down hundreds of Iranian drones and rockets aimed at Israel. Meanwhile, billions of dollars worth of U.S. weaponry remains in the pipeline for Israel, despite the delay. Republican Senator Jim Risch told reporters on Thursday that the U.S. was planning to send tank rounds, mortars, armored tactical vehicles, and more. In the wake of the October 7th attack, where Hamas gunmen killed 1,200 people by Israeli tallies and seized more than 250 hostages, Biden pledged his, quote, ironclad support for Israel. But the Israeli retaliation that has killed 35,000 people in Gaza according to local health authorities, forced Biden into a difficult spot between supporting an ally and trying to limit the loss of life. Biden has been pressed by international allies and many of his fellow Democrats at home to condition billions in aid to Israel due to the massive death toll from its Gaza assault. And a U.S. official told Reuters those pressures came to a head on an April 4th phone call between the leaders after Israeli forces killed seven World Central Kitchen volunteers. Biden gave Netanyahu an ultimatum. protect civilians and aid workers, or else U.S. policy would change. And last week, the U.S. acted on it, pausing the delivery of 2,000-pound and 500-pound bombs. In an interview with CNN Wednesday night, Biden said, quote, civilians have been killed in Gaza as a consequence of those bombs and other ways in which they go after population centers.